mean, I've seen, oh man, I, I've seen too much shit out here to explain. what I have seen on this video. Now I've seen guys drive with the gangster lean. And I've seen guys drive with their leg up. I've seen guys drive with their foot out of the damn window. But in this video, I've never seen a guy driving this truck with his feet. I mean, literally. Dude had his feet up on the steering wheel. Now, I don't know, maybe he was, maybe he was handicapped. And if he was handicapped driving with his feet, how he was able to, I don't know, I, I'm not even gonna, Nah, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, I just I, I saw this video and I just had to share it with you guys. video in the uh, in the description below but I'm just curious to know how the hell this guy is driving with his feet and he's making it cool driving driving the semi with his damn feet I don't get it it's a lot of crazy ass things I see semi drivers do out here man and it's just kind of makes you wonder what type of what type of drivers we got out here over the road the things that make you say you know what I'm saying? Things that make you go. It's kind of scary. Think about it. video I was uh, I was bumping around in my comment section of my of, uh, of my YouTube page and uh, I came across a, a comment uh, that wanted to know what is my top five or top five companies to consider now to be honest with you I I may be the wrong guy to ask I mean the to answer this question because only been 
to two places. Well, I only been to one place. I'm still at the second place. Well, he asked me what's the top five companies to consider. And uh, I went and did some work for him. And I, I did come up with five. I, I did come up with five and to let you guys know that this is only my opinion all right out of the five I only worked at the one so I am not sure how the other companies are you know I, I'm just going by uh, what I read some of the recruiters who I talked to and I'm, I'm just going by what they said so here it is and here's the comment right here. All right. The comment goes. And it's from my man, Leek. Leek. I messed your name up already. It's Link. L-I-N-K. Link. Nelson. And it reads, Hey, man. I'm going to be going to... Hey, man. I'm going to be going to school here in the beginning of September for my CDL. What are your top five companies to consider? I've been doing my research and it seems like all companies have their pros and cons. I was actually considering Celiodine and, I'm, and I still am. Any recommendations, if any? Thanks, man. Your questions were great, and Vicky did a great job as well. Uh, this comment was on the call to Celiodon when I talked to uh, Vicky. Uh, Link, give me a second while I while I gather my thoughts, and uh, I'll come back and let you know what I what I came up with. All right. So here it is, Link. Um, first off, before I get into that, first, you got to definitely do your research. You got to make sure that the company you get with is the company that you're comfortable with. Now, being that you're going to come out of school or you're coming straight out of school, there's not too many companies out here that, that you might get comfortable with. You know, you might end up with a company that's 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 paying you low wages you might end up with a company that's treating you bad you might end up with a company that you might like but in the midst of all that you got to find the company that's a good fit for you a lot of guys out here says that hey get with a company knock out your your year and then you can move on that's not the case anymore you know especially for these better and these better companies you know what I'm saying they gonna want two years or more of experience from you other than the other than the one that a lot of these guys tell you to get after you do your two years then that'll open a little bit better doors for you in the future so you can get the better paying job Get the, the job that's going to look at you as a driver and not a number. You know what I'm saying? So definitely do that first. So what I'm about to describe to you is the different kind of truck driving jobs offered by these trucking companies. Acquire a great paying job. Criteria you must meet in order to get hired as a commercial truck driver. The kind of salary and benefits you can expect to receive as a commercial truck driver. Different trucking jobs are based on division. First division is drive-in. Drive-in is the common trailer that you see being pulled out here on these interstates. It's a 53 foot trailer, but they call it drive-in because you can, you can transport dry goods, furniture, just about anything that's considered to be dry. If you have your hazmat, you, you can pull hazmat loads and you can get paid a little bit more. So if you want to look into getting your hazmat, 
when you're going through your training and getting your CDL license. Some companies out here require it, some don't. The ones that do require, they will pay you maybe a cent or two more on top of your CPM. So definitely check that out. Next up is what I do, all right? Next up is refrigerated freight drivers. In other words, reefer drivers. Us reefer drivers get paid a little bit more. We do, all right? I'm not gonna lie, we do. But the reefer trailer is no different than the drive-in trailer, except that we have a refrigerated unit on our trailer. There's an example right there of a refrigerated unit on a trailer. Next up is flatbed. Yes, sir, flatbed. Now, if you're a youngster and you wanna stay in shape, flatbed is for you, bro. <laughs> flatbed does pay the most. Um, they pay for not only securing the load, but they also pay for tarping and other stuff that they pay for that you can that that you can make some good money um, driving a flatbed. Flatbed drivers must tarp and secure each load since each load is loose. Flatbed drivers haul everything from pipes to I-beams to steel coil cables. This requires a substantial amount of strength, agility, stamina compared to other truck driving jobs in the industry. If you're willing to do all of that, then the pay is pretty good. The pay is pretty good in flatbed. All right, next up is tankers tanker drivers now tanker drivers get paid a little bit more too now some of the tanker drivers majority of them do require hazmat because you will be driving hazmat material in tankers non-hazardous material then you don't need your hazmat for that and there is some tanker jobs out there that doesn't require hazmat next up is less than less than truckload LTL drivers. So less than less than truckload drivers or LTL drivers for short are truck drivers that operate either large commercial straight trucks or small tractor trailer combos and service a regional area. LTL driving jobs are usually reserved for more experienced truck drivers. All right, next on the list is specialized truck drivers. The term specialized truck driver can mean anything from auto haulers, bull haulers, oversized overweight equipment transporters, doubles and triple trailer operators. I am back. Lost my train of thought there, but I am back with you, okay, Link? So we, I'm about to finish this up for you right quick, man, because I am getting a lot of phone calls and a lot of notifications and it just interrupted my video time. You know what I'm saying? Bull haulers is a general term for truck drivers that transport live animals such as bulls, cows, chickens, or pigs and are paid to get the animals to their destination alive and well. Auto haulers drive a specially made two-tier flatbed designed to transport automobiles to car auctions, dealerships, and auto warehouses. So Link, man, let me ask you, what kind of truck driving job do you want? I mean, here's something to think about right quick, all right? How much money do I want to make as a truck driver? What kind of benefits do I want? Do I want to work for a large or a small company? Do I want to run non-union OTR driving job or union LTL delivery truck driving job? How long am I willing to stay away from home? Do I want to get home every night, every week, or every couple of weeks? Do I want to drive for a trucking company whose nearest terminal is longer drive from home? Do I want to haul hazardous material? and deal with the extra stress of risk that comes with it. How much manual labor do I want to deal with as a truck driver? And last but not least, do I want to work for someone else or be my own boss and deal with 
the added risk or stress that comes with that. All right, Link. Once, once you once you know the answer to these questions, man, you can then decide which trucking job to pursue and which trucking companies to research while you're in the process of getting your CDLs. All right, so here's my top five for you to uh, look into, all right? All right, Link, so once you figure all that out, you know, you, you'll put in, you, you'll make up, a, you'll make good decisions on whether or not which, which of these trucking companies you wanna deal with or you wanna go with. So here's the top five that you should look into right quick, all right? J&R Schuylkill Trucking, small trucking company up here in Minnesota. Definitely give me a call if you want to know a little bit more about J&R Schuylkill. Dick Levy Trucking here in Ohio. Uh, definitely give Shelly a call. Uh, she will talk you through on what they got to offer. It's Prime. Now, Prime is in everybody's list. Everybody is jumping on Prime bandwagon right now. U.S. Express. Now, U.S. Express, I, I work for, I started with them, uh, I gained my experience with them, and then I left them. Last but not least, number five. I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. Swift, man. I mean, when you coming in, when you when you coming into truck driving, you're gonna to have to start somewhere. And unfortunately, you probably might have to go with the company that's gonna give you your chance. Swift just so happened to be one of those companies that will give you the opportunity and the chance to get out here and get your experience well that's it man i i hope uh i hope i wasn't too long-winded for you um i hope you know this little this little uh bit of information uh, will help you out in your decision making. I want to thank you for being a subscriber and thank you very much for the question. Um, if anybody else have any suggestions or any comments or anything like that, leave it in the comments below. You know, help my man out. You know, he's a new driver. He's coming out here. He's about to get the damn thing. So much success to uh, all the new drivers that's coming out here. Much success to everybody that's driving right now. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to all my supporters that's buying me coffee. You could definitely, definitely give me some coffee and or tea. You can, the link is in the comments and the description down below. You know, I, I drink a lot of tea though. I drink a little bit of coffee, but I, I drink a lot of tea. But anyway, anyway, well, that's it for this uh, Lockout Men's Travels video, man. I really do appreciate you guys coming along with me and chilling out with me and everything. You guys want to hit me up? You know how to do that. Hit me up in the comments below. Hit me up in the email and hit me up at Instagram at Lockout Men. Like, subscribe, share, comment.